Okay, what's going on, Carlos? I've got an update for you, brother. What we have here is a breadboard layout of our control components that are going inside the boiler. And I needed to lay everything out like this to calibrate the system and to determine whether or not the hardware is even up to par. Essentially, what we have here is two solenoid valves that is going to be connected to the propane burner. This valve here is connected to this Fenson pressure switch. This solenoid valve is connected to the solid state relay that is ran by the PID temperature controller. And basically what happens is when you let your hand off the trigger of the gun, the pressure spike causes the pressure switch to shut off this propane valve here and to shut off the water pump that is being mimicked by this fan here or simulated by this fan. So when the temperature that you set is exceeded, this solenoid is shut off, but the gas isn't completely shut off. It is, this particular setup will be connected to a calibrated bypass valve, a needle valve that we will set to a determined rate, say 10% of the burner capacity. So when this valve triggers, the main flow is cut off, but a little bypass loop going through a needle valve will have the burner running at say 10% versus 100%. So that way when you get a little hot, rather than the burner shut down all the way, you simply reduce heat for a minute. Then when the temperature hits a certain parameter, it kicks back on. So we're gonna be testing all that out here. The one thing I am worried about is whether or not this fan shuts off. The first cycle we're going to do is temperature. So I'm gonna heat up the thermocouple with a small blowtorch and um, we'll see that when the red temperature indication exceeds 147 degrees, which I've just set arbitrarily. Matter of fact, let's not make it so hard on me here. Let's, uh, okay, we'll say 47 degrees. It'd be easier for me to hit that. Okay, so. Right now, the gas is on. So the burner would be running because we haven't exceeded the temperature and we haven't exceeded the pressure. See the temperature is increasing and it should shut off any second. And there you go. We no longer hear the gas. The red light is on indicating the solid state relay has shut the fuel stream off. Now. As I said, in this particular instance, the burner would still be running at a calibrated set rate from the bypass needle valve that is not in this test. I just wanted to see if the hardware would work. So we're gonna cool off there. Slowly but surely. Okay, here we go. And we're running again. And we're off like clockwork. Okay, so now let's try the next parameter. We're going to cycle the pressure side. And to do that, I need to use this homemade high pressure pump. Okay, so we're pressuring up very rapidly. We want to hear the gas. Oh, wait a second. We had to wait for that to turn back on. Okay, as soon as we get to about 250 psi, that should shut off. Hopefully the fan kicks off as well. That's what we really want to see happen. And there you go, Carlos. The water pump just shut down. The power to the burner shut off. And this thing's really scaring the hell out of me. And pressure died. You put your hand back on the trigger. The pump just kicked back on. And your burner just fired back up. Okay, here we go. Pump is pumping up. This pump is just to simulate the effect of you letting your hand off the trigger of the steam gun. 
when we hit the set pressure, the water pump should shut off and the gas should shut off. Any second now, and there it goes. Now, to um, a pilot light would be running at this point to simulate you letting your hand back off the trigger. We're going to kill the pressure. Water pump kicks back on, burner kicks back on high. And you're in business, brother. We are, um, we're getting there. Every little piece you see here is basically gonna go into that menagerie to make that happen. I, and quite a bit of stuff you don't see here. I'm headed off to the hardware store again. But don't worry about that. We're still good on the figure we discussed. I'm at about $1,600 in parts right now. And and that's right around where I said this was going to be. I'm pretty sure I'll have to check my notes. But I knew this part of it alone was going to be every bit of a grand. Getting it to work all the time and stuff like that. But um, we're looking good, dude. We're home free. This was the part that had me worried. The only thing now that we gotta um, make sure doesn't happen is um, I don't break something. Everything seems to be working just fine. Nothing's getting hot. I am kind of depressed that this air compressor isn't pressuring up very good. Man, that's disappointing. I must have a massive leak somewhere. It's kind of hard to hear what this thing is going. Okay, here we go. And shut down. Yeah, that's lame. 200 PSI's. I did weld this back together, so we might be leaking through there. You'd think we'd hear air. Oh, right there. Let me try and tighten that up. All right, let's do this. We're gonna fire the pump back up. I fixed the leak. This bad boy is gonna hit 300 psi as soon as I quit messing up. Dang it. I broke the, um, I think it's called a VDF relay or something. I'll have to look that up. TCD, uh, temperature sensing relay, TCR, re something like that. This thing is fried. So I had to substitute with this switch. So I hit the startup coil with some power, then I gotta turn it right back off. But if I forget to turn that off, it goes nuts on us. Here we go, this is gonna get exciting. Okay, the system shut off. Well, we're about to hit 300 PSI's and it's going to set off the overpressure valve or it's going to blow up on me, one or the other. This thing is. And I don't know if I like this. This thing might take flight. I'm trying to hold on to it here. This is damn sure scary. I have no air protection. All right, it seems the pump pressure's maxed out. Yeah, we're not climbing any. I'm gonna slowly tweak the valve open here. Oh, it's slowly leaking. Oh, well, well that's lame. I see, so it's not explosive relief. Oh, that is too cool. We can set the pressure that it'll accept. That's back on full closed. I can also um, readjust the pressure, but um, all right, this is getting pretty boring at this point. We see that the pressure relief is working. It's just not a pop-off pressure relief. Simple as that. All we gotta do now is we gotta put this 
inside here and we're gold getting everything hooked up I can't wait to fire this thing up I'm just so amazed I had a bad feeling I was gonna fight this control system for a day dude it did not take a day I can't remember how long I've been on it but uh, it was just as easy as turning a couple screws and, and clicking a couple of buttons when it came to actually setting it up I was worried about these valves a lot of bad reviews about these valves so I'm gonna have to give them a good review this thing's working perfect I gotta build the bypass valve I told you about I'll show you that but for now I'm gonna just shut up and get this posted so you can see what's going on over here it's my bedtime the sun's coming up yeah whenever I'm welding I gotta wear this little hat so I don't go bald from hot metal landing on my skull I gotta wear these big gloves and a welding mask that I have lost there it is over there so when it's 85 degrees out forget about it and when you're doing MIG welding you can't have the slightest breeze on you because your torch is using a shielding gas so I don't get to use my Ferrari fan that I have uh, modified for greatness it actually failed and I've re-engineered it to work once again it's on its second life but uh, anyway that's why I work at night it's just too hot during the day so I work till about noon sometimes when it's just unbearable then I fall asleep and wake up when no one will let me sleep any longer and then do it all over again